Hello Youtubers and welcome back to the SRS channel. Uh, this is your host Swain and today we're gonna have a take a look at the Sergeant Barnes figure from the Platoon movie. Uh, this is the box. It has the Sergeant Barnes name on the side. And a picture of Elias getting shot on the back some credits name on the other side and a picture of the character on the front of the box this is probably a image from the movie uh, I wouldn't say this is all the figure because of their extreme realism on hair and stuff so yeah uh, this box is exactly like the Chris Taylor box. It uh, opens up like so, and inside you can see the tray with accessories. Um, you can see the display of the figure inside the box and some of the other gear it comes with so let's open up the box and take a better look at all the stuff first we're gonna take a look at the tray with the uh, weapons and accessories uh, it's in a clamshell I'm not gonna bother taking everything out but uh, I'm gonna try to give you a, as good as look as possible uh, you can see his uh, pouch belt or bandolier belt he has this assault rifle uh, with clip extra clip uh, a handgun a fold up shovel a pouch for the shovel uh, he also got these three other pouches and he have a couple of hand grenades a uh, hook or clip on hook or whatever he got a small fist knife that with a sheet that goes on the figure and a uh, uh, another knife with a sheet uh, just like with the uh, Chris Taylor figure uh, I don't know where half of this all of this stuff goes so uh, I mostly display the figure with just a little bit of all the stuff that comes with him and over to the figure itself in this tray and as usual it has one one uh, protective shell on top of everything with another shell on top of the figure and the other accessories Uh, in here you'll find the stand as usual and I don't think I've pointed it out in the, my other videos but just about every 1-6 scale figure from Hot Toys comes with the instructions uh, you have a backpack with which is fully functional with the uh, straps and everything everything is adjustable uh, you can also probably take out the stuff inside here and the stuffing and fill it with care I've never done that but I haven't displayed this figure with the backpack on either you got one left hand trigger with trigger finger 
you got the uh, uh, right hand for holding the dagger, uh, left hand relaxed pose on the figure. You got the trigger hand on the right hand and a relaxed hand on the left hand. Uh, it doesn't come packed like that because I, I had it on display once and I had to pack it all up and pack in the boxes for the moving. So uh, I think this relaxed hand is supposed to be on the figure's right hand. Uh, I also got uh, two canteens. And like with Chris Taylor, you also get a helmet. No writing on this one though. Uh, Chris Taylor's helmet had uh, this writing on the side which said, uh, When I die, bury me upside down so the world can kiss my ass. Uh, it also comes with this tray with his dog tags, cigarette, watch. And some kind of bracelet, I assume. And what this little piece of paper with writing on it? I don't, I don't know. I haven't had a close look at it. Probably some propaganda paper or something like that. So yeah, let's take out the figure and. Take a better look at him. So here he is, the Sergeant Barn figure. I just put him in uh, standard museum pose. Uh, I outfitted him with uh, his gun, handgun, and his cigarette. He's just standing like there, like uh, he don't care what your opinion is on killing people and stuff is just a bad uh, soldier. Uh, it's a long time since I saw the movie myself. I bought it but I haven't seen it in quite some time. But uh, everything's there. It, it looks pretty accurate as far as I can remember. Uh, the bandana on his head, the military boots, the harness, and everything. It's uh, beautifully detailed with uh, a scar on his face, or scars all over his face, to put it that way. Uh, the cigarette is. In his hand, you can see the blood veins on his arms. Uh, he got the patches on his left shoulder and stuff. Just take a quick spin around. Uh, the boots are uh, fabric. Uh, or part partially fabric. I think some of it might be molded, but uh, yeah, uh, real shoelaces, uh, fabric around the ankles uh, makes a better articulation, and uh, yeah, uh, let's try to get a close up on. Uh, Head sculpt. Let me borrow my crusty table lamp. So let's see. Focus. It's not the best lighting ever, but. Uh, yeah, you can see the scars on his face, lip, chin, 
the hair is sculpted on him. I'm not sure if it's possible to take off the bandan uh, the bandana, but uh, I'm not sure if it's supposed to come off. On the Chris Taylor figure, you can take off the hairpiece to make the helmet fit a little bit better, but uh, I haven't displayed them with the helmet on. You see his uh, rank and probably uh, which battalion or whatever it comes from. Uh, shoes nicely detailed. It's a figure velvet uh, having. I'm not sure uh, how easy it is to get him anymore, but. Uh, if you can, it's a uh, figure well worth having in your collection. And uh, I'm happy I bought it. Uh, this is my fourth figure I ever got, I believe. And as you will find out, in the fu my future videos, I bought several more figures after I got this one. Uh, so, yeah, there you have it. Sergeant Barnes, portrayed by Tom Berenger. Once again, a slow spin around. Uh, this is how the figure is gonna go in my cabinet. Little adjustment, like so. And he won't be touched ever again until I have to move or rearrange my collection. Uh, yeah, this was Sergeant Barnes from the movie Platoon, made by Hot Toys. Uh, if you can get it, get it. It got heaps of accessories. Well worth having. So that was it for this time. Uh, be sure to check back later. Uh, like, thumb up the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to tune in for more. And. Uh, Put some words in the comments and let me know what you think about this figure. And that's all for now. See you later guys. Bye bye.